Good afternoon, Bob Dalton coming to you from Allendale's trading floor here in McHenry, Illinois. It is Monday, the 17th of October, 2011. Before I get into the market wrap-up for you today, uh, I want to stress the importance of uh, signing up for our conference, especially those of you uh, who have attended in the past and do want to come see us again this year. Uh, This week, we are offering discounted pricing on the price of the tickets. We added a lot more to the conference this year. Uh, We have a a land uh, farm management guru going to be there. We're doing technical analysis demonstrations and Q&A sessions for uh, those of you who want to get a little uh, little more aggressive with your technical analysis on on picking and choosing where you're going to be selling your grain. So this week... uh, there is a discount on the price. They're, they're taking 50 bucks off each ticket. Call us, 800-262-7538, or visit us on the website to get registered. The sooner, the better. Trust me on that one. Uh, the seats are going to go fast this year with the lineup we have. All that information is on the website as to who's going to be there. Um, so now we'll get into the, the marketing. I just wanted to give you all that warning about the pricing for this week. We have to be signed up and paid by the end of the week. Um, Starting off with the grains, uh, corn today up half a point, 6.40 and a half, uh, a whole 12 cent range today, which is not typical of what we're used to seeing out of the out of the, any of the grains, let alone the corn. Uh, 12 cent range, very quiet markets here today. Uh, it was quiet on Friday, quiet again here today. Uh, the bulls needing something to be fed to really get excited about uh, buying this market, and uh, the bears just kind of waiting on the sidelines to make sure that they're in fact doing the right thing if they want to get short. So, a lot of chopping around. Um, you had crude oil down 45 cents today. The dollar up about 51 uh, at the time of this recording. So uh, outside markets could have been uh, could have been the, the concrete around the ankles, if you will, for the for the grains today. I don't expect to see uh, um, these grains go crazy one direction or the other. There's a lot of technical support right underneath these markets, corn and beans specifically. Um, maybe a buying opportunity coming up here in the next couple of days. Uh, soybeans uh, down 17 today, 12.53. We did get down to 12.50 uh, at one point this afternoon. Um, so that area being tested, better support down around 12.40 uh, in the in the soybeans. Wheat up one and a half, uh, 6.24 and a quarter is where they settled out. So you can see corn and, and wheat not moving a whole lot at all today. The beans taking a little bit of a, a shot to the chin due to uh, weather conditions and, and planting conditions down in South America improving. Uh, they got some they got some water when they needed it. It's going to be dry for them this week, so they can get out and, and get the planting going. And then we have some rain following uh, in the near term, so that uh, freshly planted seed is going to get a drink very early, uh, which is good. Uh, so that's that's going to hamper the soybeans a little bit here and now. Uh, stay tuned on Thursday when export numbers come out. We'll see how much uh, we're actually able to, to sell and ship here from U.S. stocks uh, on both the soybeans and the corn. Last week we saw some decent numbers out of both of them, and it's been a little while since we've seen any type of export numbers worth talking about. So uh, stay tuned to, to Thursday mornings for export numbers. Over to the livestock. Uh, we had... Uh, New contract highs made in a couple of contracts here uh, in the meets. Live cattle, April. Uh, April cattle went up made new contract highs today. Uh, the December cattle closed up 45 cents at 123.65. You got October now in delivery, so be careful if you're long October contracts. Uh, as, uh, the last delivery date I heard late last week was September 30th, so they're, they're very close uh, if you need new dates. Get that done, or uh, if you're uh, interested in taking delivery on cattle, now's the time to jump on in there. Uh, feeder cattle today, uh, unchanged in the November contract, 144.42 and a half is where they settled. Feeders were very uh, aggressively being were being bought very aggressively here out of the gates. They cooled down as the day went on. Hogs today, uh, that December contract made new contract highs. 9070 is where they settled. That is one of the highest settlements we've had in that contract. As a matter of fact, I think it is the highest settlement we've had on that contract. Uh, that was up 62 and a half off of speculation that China's in here buying pork. And, uh, um, we saw an increase in exports last month. We're not going to know what's going on right now until next month when they tell us what, what happened there for the month of October. So speculation, uh, the anticipation that China is still buying meats from us, uh, specifically uh, pork from us, 
we're not going to know if we're right or wrong until uh, you know, we see the reports from the USDA next month. So be very careful if you're getting short those hogs right now. Uh, and that's just going about uh, just about going to do it here. Uh, that is the wrap up for today, the 17th of October. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, need help with marketing, thinking about maybe 2012 grain ideas, give us a call. Uh, the phone number is 800-262-7538, or visit us on the web at www.allendale-inc. Dot com. Thanks for tuning in again this week. My name is Bob Dalton. I look forward to talking to you again very soon.